You want to up your pizza game without breaking the bank? You're going to want to catch this episode. What's up everybody, Jason from JTV Life. Welcome back to the channel. If I'm welcoming you for the first time, please hit that subscribe button, ding the notification bell, that way you don't miss another video here at JTV Life. Here at JTV Life, I just go about my life, all right? This is a lifestyle channel and I do just little reviews, tutorials, how-tos, on kind of the stuff that I'm getting into. Right now, it's going to be some killer wood fire pizza in my backyard on nothing else other than the big horn wood pellet fired pizza oven. Now, I'm super excited to get my hands on this thing. I've been waiting about three months to get one. I saw it come across Amazon, put it in my cart, sat on it, didn't order it, and then boom, they were sold out. It took about two and a half months to get them back in stock, but I got an alert. They're 10 bucks more than they were before, but they're still very economical at $159.99. Ship time is about anywhere between a week to two weeks out. This one took about two weeks to get here. And at the $160 price tag, it is very competitive. Um, the next mainstream one is made by Uni. It's the Uni Fria 12. And it runs for about $369, and that's just their entry level oven. They go all the way up to $600. If you're not familiar with the pellet wood fired pizza ovens, they operate on wood pellets, much like the pellets that you would run your Traeger grill on. They do make an adapter that fits into this little pellet box that will allow you to run this grill on propane. I don't see why you would wanna do that. It's gonna get super hot with those pellets and it's gonna have the amazing flavor of whatever wood pellets you are using. Keeping that in mind, you do wanna make sure that you're using food grade pellets with this. You don't wanna use just the little heating pellets because they could have chemicals and all kinds of wacky stuff that aren't made for you to consume. One of the things that I love about this oven is that it's actually portable. You can take it wherever. It weighs 25 pounds. It's about 22 inches long, 15 inches wide. Smokestack comes up to 24 inches tall, but the legs do fold in and you can remove this chimney for easy travel. I would make sure that you put the stone somewhere where it won't break. That'd probably be the most fragile part on this rig. It's got a pretty nice little door, no hinges. Really simple, insulated, should be able to keep the heat in there. The gauge of steel that this is made out of, it's not the thickest, but it's really, it's not the thinnest. They'd say to store it outside of weather elements, obviously you're gonna wanna bring this thing inside. Another cool thing is when you go to travel with it, you can take the smokestack off, put it in here, and it takes up even less room. One thing that is not included with the big horn pizza oven is a pizza peel. A lot of the higher end ones or more expensive ones, they have an integrated peel on the door. This one does not come with one, so you're gonna wanna pick one of these up. I'm gonna have an affiliate link for both the stove and a pizza peel in the description. 12 inch pizza peel fits into this oven perfectly, so we'll be able to make full use of that cooking surface. All right, so let's check out the business end of this puppy. We got a couple different spots here. We got a hopper. That's where we're gonna put all of our pellets once it is good and ignited and our fire is burning. Inside here, and we have a nice little tool to lift up all this stuff because it's gonna get mad hot. Put this in here, we can pull this out. And this is gonna be our starter tray. This is where our fire is actually gonna burn and it's where we're gonna ignite our pellets before we put them into the grill when we're first lighting it off. Then we'll continue to add as we cook through the top right here. On the very bottom, there is a ash collecting tray. 
and this is going to collect any kind of ash. They recommend in the owner's manual if you're cooking for over an hour, you're going to want to go ahead and periodically check this and make sure it's empty. Don't want ash all over those sweet pies. All right, so we're going to go ahead and light this thing off for the first time. You do want to make sure this is a level, non-flammable surface that you do this on. I'm doing it right here on my Traeger Grills top shelf because I know that it is not flammable. Hey, by the way, make sure you do subscribe so that way you can check out all the Traeger videos. Now, the first step to getting this ignited is going to be measuring out our pellets. Owner's manual calls for 300 grams of wood pellets. If you don't got a scale, it's just about two cups inside of a liquid Pyrex measuring cup. Go ahead and add those in and you can see it takes it just about to the top here. So even if you didn't have a way to measure it, you can just go ahead and fill them in just to the top. Now we're gonna hit it with an igniter. That's what the manual said. I'm not sure what that is. If you are, make sure you let everybody know down in the comments. I'm just gonna use a torch. Of course I go big boy stats. I got a little propane torch on top of a DOT 3.9, AKA the Coleman one pound propane fuel canister for camping. I also got a video on how to refill these bad boys too. If you want to save some money this summer, make sure you check that out. It'll be down in the description. I'm going to put a little card or something up like that. After about 20 seconds of hitting our pellets with the torch, we are ignited. Let this burn for another 45 to 90 seconds, and then we're gonna reinstall it inside the big horn using our little tool. All right, it's been about two minutes, and you can see we got a lovely flame here. I'm gonna go ahead and insert this into the back of the oven. Make sure the hopper lid's closed, but we do wanna remove the chimney cover. This chimney cover also can be used for scooping pellets. It's kind of like a little dual purpose. Looks like it holds about 100 grams, so just keep that in mind. You can already see that we have some nice smoke coming out of our chimney. I would not dare stick my face over that. In around 18 minutes, this thing should be completely lit and we will see flames coming out of the top. That is our cue to add more pellets to the hopper and then continue with the pizza cooking. While this bad boy is preheating, let's talk pizza real quick. The best pizza in this thing is gonna be a Neapolitan style pizza. Those are the ones that cook at super high temperatures very shortly. It's a super simple dough, but the procedure to make it is kind of a little bit complex. We're not making pizza right now because I always like to run everything one time through before I cook on it for the first time. That way I can make sure any kind of like weird chemicals or whatever in this get cooked off. Most things you purchase that you cook on do suggest this. The owner's manual for this, however, does not. A couple other things I noticed when I was unboxing it, it is very hard to get the stone out of there. So you wanna open up the box that the stone is in, slide out the stone, and then you'll be able to get the box out of here without breaking your stone or ripping up your fingers on the very sharp sheet metal inside lip of the Bighorn oven. As far as quality goes, it looks really good. It feels awesome. We'll see what happens after it gets cooked with a few times, if it starts warping and distorting. One thing that kind of stinks, and I'll have to email, they did put a little card in there if you're missing anything. I'm missing one of the screws that holds my hopper in. I don't think this is gonna prevent it from working and it's gonna work safely, but it's a little annoying when you buy something and it's missing that screw. So I'll let y'all know down in the comments if I'm able to get one and how long it took to get. So we are only about 10 minutes into our preheating process and this thing is already spitting flames out the top. According to the owner's manual, when the flames come out the top, that's when it's time to start fueling your hopper. Once we add our pellets to our hopper, we're gonna wait another two to three minutes until we see the flames return out the top of our chimney and that is when it's time to cook your food. Of course, this is all from horribly translated Chinese to English as one would expect from an Amazon product in 2021. Let's go ahead and add these pellets. Now 
Not gonna lie, I just tapped my knuckle on the roof of this. It's pretty hot. Be really careful when you're doing this. Because something I've noticed is the heat has kind of changed the, uh, the shape of this a little bit to where it's tricky to get your tool in there. And literally within 30 seconds, we already got flames coming out of the chimney again. So I think Confucius say time to make pizza. This is a fluke temperature gun and it is reaching max temperature, meaning it's not even reading. And this particular gun right here reads up to, I want to say 750 degrees. So I can't really report an accurate temperature, but I will say it is an excess of 750 degrees. Now I have played around with the grill through a few different pellet ad cycles. I will say she is a pellet hog. This thing is blowing through the pellets. This little scoop right here, it weighs about 120 grams of pellets, and that's about enough to cook for 60 seconds. So I wouldn't do what the directions say. I wouldn't go loading the hopper up. I would just, each time you go to put a pizza in, throw this in there. It's gonna ignite very quickly, and you'll have enough burn time to cook that one pie. Of course, if you're gonna do three in a row, just put the three in there, but you don't need to load it up just to cook one pizza. I'm using Traeger brand pecan wood pellets. I haven't experimented yet because I just got this thing. If any of you guys have used one of these or another wood pellet grill, let us know in the comments what is your favorite wood for cooking pizzas. I'm gonna be cooking some pizzas later on tonight and we are gonna be checking back in with you. I'm not gonna give the recipe, however, but I do wanna just show you all how the pizzas come out. If you're interested in my Neapolitan pizza recipe, then please subscribe. I am trying to up my subscription list right now. I'm only hovering at around 63. This is kind of like the end of May 2021. I would really love to hit 1,000 and get monetized, but if I could just hit 500, that would be enough for me to come back and make y'all a video on my badass Neapolitan pizza dough. We'll check in with y'all a little bit later tonight when we cook up some pies and we'll see how they come out. night we whipped up a ton of pizzas about five of them and they all came out really good they definitely got a little bit better towards the end and i do take back what i said earlier in the video about only feeding it as you're making the pizzas that's a good way to conserve pellets if you have a bunch of pizzas already made up and you're just gonna add a little put the pizza in but if you want to keep it lit and not let it die down to the point where it's going to take a few minutes to fire back up, definitely shovel about three of these into the hopper once your fire is already lit. And that'll give you enough to cook about two pizzas because when your temperature swings up and down, you're not going to get that beautiful leoparding on the bottom of your crust that is synonymous with Neapolitan pizza. I'll say overall, I'm very happy with my purchase of this pizza oven, and I think it's gonna be whipping up some amazing pizzas for quite some time. The construction quality of it is really good for $150. There isn't really a much to this oven. It's a very simple design, 
So I don't really see why you would want to spend over 150 for this sort of oven. The only downside to this thing that I can really foresee is just the amount of pellets that it consumes. It uses a lot of pellets. So make sure you always have a full bag on hand if you're gonna do a pizza night because you're gonna burn about a pound of pellets per pizza. Well, thank you very much for stopping by and checking out my new pizza oven. If you like this content, please hit like and also don't forget to subscribe. That way I can make that recipe video for y'all and show you how I made my Neapolitan pizza doughs. JTV Live, this is Jason signing off and we'll see y'all next time. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs>